Colin Firth was one of my sexual awakenings. If I want to get me balls out, I fucking will. <laughs> He was less interrogation on Broadchurch. <laughs> do you want me to tell the audience you're faggy? Well, don't you look an idiot now. <laughs> I've only ever needed to use violence twice each time. I went for an head butt. Oh, on tap back. So yeah, the client's back, yeah. Oh, that's good. Use it if you want. Are yours recliners? I yeah, think so. The same chair. That's a bit extra, in. Is that needed for a podcast? No. Recliners. <laughs> the chair when I do my podcast with Morgan is not that comfy. This no. Is, this, isn't, this isn't quite exciting. What's the operation like? Is it um, smooth? Yeah, I just turn up, don't do anything and leave. <laughs> so I think for me, it's pretty fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who'd you do that with? Uh, Morgan Reese. But we've only just oh, started doing it. Yeah. But I'm fuming because um, both of our followers are both, um, they're all like gay. <laughs> so uh, we've both got like quite big gay followings and we put clips out there and all of them are just like, I want to jump on Morgan's dick and I'm <laughs> in the same clip like, what about me? <laughs> but, we get that a lot as well. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's my dick. The yeah, other one. I can imagine. <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Um, yeah, you've seen like someone, mums want to fuck. Oh, do I? That's yeah, actually, you've got see, like, a, like, oh, he's a nice boy. Like yeah. you feel like you could charm a mum into bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know the what? vibe I've See, got. I don't know if you're trying to insult me, but that's genuinely no, the, no, best. It's not. the best thing it's anyone's like ever a, said yeah, to me. It's like a, yeah, I could imagine yeah. you at the back of a rugby club with Sharon <laughs> really <laughs> putting an effort in. I got off with my mate's mum when I was younger. Did you? See, yeah, I'm not yeah, surprised yeah. you really read that like, <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. I mean, I, I said it as a point that vibe. <laughs> but like... <laughs> Good, Maybe it's the job. A good one. Yeah, a good, good stepdad. One. Yeah, someone who, one who takes you bowling. <laughs> Some it, but like, you've got like that sort of vibe. Puts but, the shutters up when he's losing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so um, in the podcast, we've only a couple of episodes in. We're still figuring out what we're doing. Yeah. But yeah, um, they're all, all over Morgan's dick. <laughs> but the ones, because the, I've had a few in the DMs, but mine are insane. Oh, insane. Yeah, yeah. Mine, are, mine are like old blokes who want to like burn me alive. <laughs> it's like really intense. One of them sent me a photo of me outside the building I lived in. <gasps> that is fucking And now it was fucking crazy. What do you mean burn, burn you're alive? That's they're not just what like, spit roasting no, means, like, Josh. No, because Morgan's getting messages like, oh, come fuck me in the ass and all that sort of stuff. I'm getting like really intense, sort of like, I really, really like you. I want to piss I've, on you. I've been having like a bad, a bad time, but I've been thinking about us. We should go on us. a day. <laughs> like, it was like, let me take you out. Blah, 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 blah. I've, had, I've had it quite a lot. It's quite intense. And then um, on Instagram, they can just send photos. You know, that's not... Has that happened? Unsolicited photos? Yeah, yeah, balls. I got one of bo more balls than dick. I you was should like, have... I, We've I, got I told you not to say it. Tell anyone. I told you about that. <laughs> yeah, I've had, um, like... Yeah, I've had a couple of old guys scrotums, actually. <laughs> and I don't know... I just don't know why, because I've never really expressed the need for it, but it's what I'm getting. It's just men, isn't it? Yeah, but Morgan's getting, like, little fucking guys with six packs who are, like, really fit, and I'm just getting, like, proper old blokes <laughs> who really just want me dead. Yeah, but, like... <laughs> but, and then <laughs> fuck my cop. <laughs> it's weird. It seems like a compliment to me, because obviously yeah. Morgan's just giving off fuckboy vibes. Yeah, that you're like right, I'm having yeah. a tough time. Oh, I'm, Help me I'm out a of very it. much. I, I'm you're the approachable I am one. a monogamist. <laughs> I am. I'm very like you know. I'm all about love. Like it's that frowned upon in the gay community. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm the, the only one. You no, know. yeah. but um, no. I've, I've well, I've started doing stand up about this, but it is true. My my penis has started like consulting with me art and my brain. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what was happening before? I've got to actually like the person before I shag them now. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> like the vetting system, <laughs> it takes ages. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not good. Really. I don't have that problem. <laughs> yeah, well, you're, you're in a, no, a you're betrothed. Yeah, <laughs> betrothed. <I mean>. Betrothed. <laughs> yeah, betrothed. betrothed yeah. Are you bet are you in a couple? Yeah, I'm getting married in September. Oh my god. Yeah. Do they know? <laughs> <laughs> 
So, so, it's so a, Eric Kids Eric Kids excited. <laughs> oh, no kids. No, no kids, kids for me. No. I do not want him. Never. Have I'm kids. looking at the camera like, should I be saying this on camera? Never no. Have kids. I, I want to have kids, but I'm just like, I, I like the idea of kids in the future. Whenever I face what, the like idea. The ones that can like fly and like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. With other boards and, and shit. <laughs> you don't want yo yo kids. You want <laughs> ones who, you, if you're going to buy in some gadgets and fucking mint. Wait for that. Wait till they can teleport. That's what well, you so they want. could just fuck off yeah, into the sky. Yeah. Go to I, your room. <laughs> I can't imagine Liam's going to be any good on a hoverboard, though, to be fair. Hey, I'm fucking aerodynamic, mate. What are you on about? <laughs> I'm offended by that. What do yeah. you mean? Explain. Like, have you ever, like, been on those, uh, what are they called? The fucking, like, Segway things. The, yeah, like, the little fucking, like. Uh, um, I've got yeah. self respect. So yeah. never, I mean, I've never been on a meter, no, but they look like in those scooters lately in Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. I've been getting to and from on those scooters. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I've just. <laughs> he came to meet me on the. <laughs> in your tone then, yeah. Josh. <laughs> I, I'm a big walker. I yeah. like to walk. No, it yeah. doesn't really agree Old with me. school. <laughs> Keeping it, yeah. OG. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, and guess who have we started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, we should have probably said no one no said start, in- so no I'm just in- talking. There's no sort of like introduction or anything. Yeah, we no. don't do that. Yeah. I don't get the whole like welcome back to the Who Gives a Fuck podcast. Like we don't do any of that shit. We do just start know. talking. Like people have got no attention spans anymore, so we just get right into it. So yeah. it'll have just started in a random sentence. Ah, that's. Good. <laughs> when you were slagging off your audiences when we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that's what I'm saying. No, I like, I like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but I'm I, I, now. I like the attention. Yeah, I fucking love that. I just want it to be less intense. Like, so if they were like, oh, you're really nice and stuff, you're fit, I'd like that. But it's not, it is more, there was a priest who kept wanting to drive me to my gigs, and I don't know what to do with that. Oh, well, you're a bit fucking old, is what I would suggest. Yeah. <laughs> right off the bat. Oh, no, yeah, he wanted to pick me up and um, drive me to my gigs. And how do you know he was a priest? Was that like his opening gambit? No, he actually saw me, this was years ago, he actually saw me at a gig. Um, I was doing a gig in a church hall, and then, um, you know, all the comics were like, oh, yeah, that was good. The priest loved it. And then as I was leaving, this priest cornered me <laughs> and then just messaged me for ages. Really, yeah? Yeah. I was quite scared. I know it's weird, but because it's a priest, it's quite ominous. A priest, the celibate ones? Because I don't, I don't know. There's like the ones that can't have... I don't know if it was a priest or a vicar. We was in a church. I, didn't, I don't know what brand it was. <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't. Drugged. <laughs> yeah. okay. I don't know where I was or who he was, but we were there. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what team it was, but it was one of... <laughs> He would see it was a church. I didn't know if it was Catholics or the They're other all one. on Jesus' yeah, team, that's what we know. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> but I know he's a priest. And you never took him up on the offer? No, I got the train. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, uh, well, actually, this was years ago. This was probably back in my mega bus yeah, days. Got left, yeah, so you probably could have done uh, probably got left standards now. There's no fucking trains, is there, at the minute? So. No, I don't know how I'm going to get home tonight. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting. We've got a couple of priests that come to the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, you're a class traitor, aren't you? What do you mean? What I mean by that is, it's like, you're a northerner who's absconded. Oh, and I know I moved down south last yeah, year. Yeah. No, yeah, I am a class traitor. I started dating someone who went to private school. Fuck me. He's posh as fuck. <laughs> Do you I, like that? I to be fair, it. though. I love it. I'm the bit of rough. Yeah. I like it. It's nice. And as well, he's like, uh, have you seen Bridget Jones? Have you seen no. Bridget? I've seen the first one. Yeah. Classic. Um, why, why didn't you stick around for the other two? The sequels? Yeah. Because nah, I just never... I don't oh, know. they're quite good, actually. Are they, yeah? Yeah, I think, give it a rewatch. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I'll put it on uh, there. <laughs> so, they... <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's not, I'm not being no, serious. I'm being really serious. I know, that's the way I'm wearing <laughs> um, um, his heart on his sleeve, God yeah. damn it. <laughs> this, is, this is a sincere moment. Thank you. I'm um, taking the recommendation. Um... But Colin Firth in that film yes. was one of my sexual awakenings. <laughs> um, so serious. And What's his name? What's his character's name? Matt Darcy. Yeah, I was going to go. Right, uh, Mr. Darcy. Ooh, Mr. Darcy. And um, yeah, very, very posh private school sort yeah. of stuff. This guy, same vibe. Their manners are incredible. I'm never going for a Northern dick ever again in my <laughs> life. <laughs> he apologises for shit. He's not even done wrong. 
Really? I love it. It's so good. <laughs> and it's like, ooh, uh, so well spoken. In, 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 I love it. You, you I, brought... I was went to try and do the accent, but I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you tried anyway. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> you brought up Bridget Jones, but in the, isn't the bad boy in that just as posh? Aren't yeah, yeah, posh? Hugh Grant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Both of them were a big sexual awakening. That and Bill Nye in Love Actually, when he plays like the washed up. Isn't he old as fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like He's like 60. the past it rock star. Well, that was, that's film. why it was quite scary because I started to realize, oh, I'm attracted to men and also they're quite old. <laughs> but he, um, so no, but I think it was more like the washed up rock star sort of like the coolness. Yeah. And Bill Nye is quite sexy, actually. He's got a very cool vibe. Has he? Do you not think so? I mean, I like him. I, I think has. he's a good He's actor. in a other great film. Have you seen Underworld? That was one of the things that was popping into me. Yeah, Jerry's yeah. like the leader yeah, of the vampires. Yeah, he plays he? Victor. Yeah, but he's dead greasy and all. No, st- no. Well, Kate Beckinsale was, yeah. interestingly, not a sexual awakening. She was a sexual confusion because she made me think maybe I'm bi for ages. Because of that film. Oh, yeah, in yeah, the, she yeah, wears a plever... Me. Um, like leather, plastic le- like, leather, like, um, like eco friendly, nice leather. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, but but that's, that's, that's Josh's turn. I'm just something to go, just help the economy. You know what I mean? To be <laughs> fair, she's a fucking vampire that drinks yeah. human blood in that film. So I'm pretty sure she won't have a problem works. with leather. <laughs> it was early 2000, so I'm guessing it was real leather. Yeah, yeah, because it, yeah. but Pre-vegan. she still looks like that now. I, I follow her on Instagram. Oh, yeah, she's aged. She's amazing. a big, um, she's one of me, I think she's one of them i think she is actually the most attractive woman that's ever lived do you think yeah i think if if i was a woman that's what i'd want to look like i think the most attractive woman who's ever lived is your future wife yes there you thank go you thank, thank you before i even yeah. said yeah. it there you yeah. go. thank you very much yeah. someone's done telly <laughs> <laughs> she'd say chris pratt but yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah my yeah. girlfriend is stormsy so i don't know how that <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? everything you're not yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you wore your uh, shorts. I know, yeah. I, I was saying to you, I felt a bit. It feels a bit weird because this is being recorded, and I'm in shorts, and I feel like a bit of a hoe. <laughs> Have you ever gigged in shorts? No, I've heard it's a no-no. Oh, what? oh, is it? Have you do? do you People, do uh, Do you know what? The mo- how long have you been doing stand up? <laughs> three four years give it a couple more years and you'll think oh fuck off i'll do whatever i want <laughs> i remember all these rules for, and but he was telling you the rules comics who don't do it for a living so they can suck a dick i, I do think... and if i want to get my balls out i fucking will <laughs> <laughs> i think i saw it was like the title of a book about comedy like don't wear shorts that was the title of the book i did the first time i wore shorts i did overstep it and it was this was about five years ago i was, I was doing an open spot what yeah, it's probably like at the comedy store. No, <laughs> just at the, up at, the uh, <laughs> at, com- at comedia in Brighton, but because it was in Brighton and I'd never been Brighton before, I thought you know, gotta get the legs out. <laughs> and, um, Beach time, yeah, yeah. But I went really like into the they were like op, they were hot pants basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I turned up, uh, you know. So yeah, wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> Yeah, well, he was going to wear them before. Yeah. Did you answer said yeah. that? Yeah. Were they not well received? <laughs> no, I remember, because I wasn't a pro comic then, so I didn't know that, you know, a cat turned up in hot pants. But yeah, I did. I did um, so shorts like this are all right. I think if it's not a big gig, you can wear shorts. Yeah. New act night, new material. Yeah, fuck that. Like, like, like I did a preview the other day in shorts. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think, yeah, if it's a big gig, you know, if you're doing live at the Apollo... <laughs> put, put some put some trousers on. <laughs> Taking your fucking notebook in a Tesco yeah. bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You're doing a Netflix special, yeah. Dad. Put some bad stuff on. Some, yeah. yeah. No, Bear Kreischer does not top list, doesn't he? So Yeah, but I think yeah. that's his his quirk, isn't it? Well maybe mine could be jorts. No, I, I get oh you're wearing jorts too. Jean shorts. Yeah, jorts. I know. I bought yes. these the other day oh, when, no. when I was in Bristol. Um, he judged me for them last time we recorded and I wore shorts. Shorts this day and age, mate. He's fucking... Not a middle-aged dad. They're comfy. Yeah. I w- and I, I got them... Um, um, I was in Bristol and it was boiling and I was like, oh, I need a new outfit. I ended up... I, did, right, I, did, I have quite a bad shopping addiction. <laughs> so 
and this is what you've landed yeah. on today. And I, I needed <laughs> jeans. I'm on over though. Yeah. Fair. You don't. Do you think this deserves my best stuff? <laughs> Some Let's just have a yeah. word studio, yeah, don't you know? some self-reflection. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to hear about the shop and the picture. Yeah, so, oh no, it's terrible. It's actually really bad. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not It's not like, you know, like I don't need help. You well, know, just, just a bigger wardrobe. What, what? <laughs> <laughs> but I... Um, <laughs> what makes it, what separates it from liking shopping? And being a shop and addiction, what makes you... An empty bank account. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I spend about a good couple of hundred quid a month on clothes. Jesus. Yeah, that's a lot. I yeah. probably. That's I, not, I won't think it's an addiction though, but it's, it's relative to how much money you've got. If you've, not, I'm not. I don't want to know how much money you've got. But if you've got, if you've got, I don't mind bragging. I do. Why else? But if, you make, if you make fifteen grand a month. 200 quid on clothes. I'm not that making much, No, I know, but, but this is the point, isn't it? But if you're making a couple of grand, then 200 quid's probably quite a lot, especially if you live in London, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, relative, isn't it? Yeah, and I live in a shithole <laughs> house with someone <laughs> with, I told you before, I'm living <laughs> with a capoeira instructor. <laughs> <laughs> like Brazilian fight yeah. dancing. <laughs> who, who, Why do I know that? Who plays the bongos. <laughs> so these bongos in me living with, and I'll, I'll be on like a Zoom meeting in the living room, and um, he's doing the hacker behind you. Yeah, but but then I was on with I was on uh, with a producer and was like, you know, I was really trying to you know get a good job. Yeah, you know yeah pants on. Yeah, and then <laughs> and then I could just stay uh, and and chanting, and he was upstairs doing his look because he's got bongos upstairs as well. They're in every room, actually. <laughs> yeah, that's how just you know he's shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how it stops us like, having a sound when we're having a shit. Just <laughs> um, but no, so um, so yeah, he does do that quite a lot. He's a nice guy, but um, I am going to move out. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you can't live with someone that plays the bongos, can you? No, like, he's, not... he's nice though, he's really nice And he is good at the bongos Yeah, <laughs> But not what about the capoeira? No, he's a professional capoeira oh, okay. instructor he Yeah, magic. yeah, no, yeah, he's been doing it for years Has he taught you anything? Taught you any moves? Um, I don't want to do that how do you know I was going to make you do it? No, I don't. No, I don't want to. Um, I've watched. I've watched <laughs> some of it, and I appreciate that it's a thing that he enjoys. Um, but that's not for Josh me. Josh Claude Van Dam, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but I did do boxing for years. Oh yeah, yeah, I did boxing for years when I was a teenager. How'd you find it? Yeah, we're fine. I think a lot of people expect, uh, like, oh my god, because I'm like gay, but it's like, yeah, well, obviously I did it because I didn't want to get fucking back. <laughs> you did the self defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Homophobia is still but alive and well. So. I, had, <laughs> I had quite a lot of mates that did it, so it was quite fun. Yeah. Um, but then I got braces, and I was like, I can't spar, you know. So um, <laughs> any excuse. You know, but it's like, as soon as I got my braces, I was like, well, so I'm, I'm going to be gorgeous now. <laughs> so you know, um, I don't need, I don't need violence. <laughs> that was the plan, <laughs> and it worked. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> How long did you box for? Did you have a fight um, or anything? Or was it just training? Yeah. Oh, oh really? yeah. <clears throat> um, did for about. Uh -huh. Four years, maybe. Oh, sick. How many fights did you have? I had, I had two out of the, um, like out of the out gym. of the gym. Is that what yeah. I went? I went, yeah, I went to um, Adwick. Fucking Sounds up. solid. I yeah. know. <laughs> battered them. I didn't. I don't <laughs> quite Madison Square think Garden, is it? But no, I didn't really do as much sparring. There was. I wasn't. I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't like the best at it. No, I, I boxed for a little bit, but I didn't fight or anything. I just. No, I just enjoyed. Did training. you spar there though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I remember um, there was another guy who was obviously gay, and I'm guessing that his dad made Could him go as how well. He was punching. <laughs> no, yeah, he, he was. He was honestly, it made me look like Danny fucking Dyer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I uh, so, and I hated him, and not because he was gay. Could only be one. <laughs> no, I hated him because he came. He always brought his stuff in a River Island bag. Yeah. And was like, right, we get it. You bought something from River Island. But each week, he just... And it, the bag ended up having holes in it by the... He probably only bought a pair of fucking socks just for the bag. But I was just like, right, we get it. You've been to River Island. Yeah. It was so a status I, thing back I, then. Yeah, it was. It? Yeah. And I just... I just... Um, 
I just hated him and I remember thinking, I finally got to spar him and I remember thinking, I'm going to fuck this little bastard up. Yeah, do him in. And then he destroyed me. Oh. <laughs> And then you started sparring. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> no, he, he honestly, I was like, he destroyed me. So then I forgot all the rules of boxing and I basically just like clotheslined him <laughs> into the corner and started kneeing him. I've always oh thought like, I'm not, I'm not, it was really bad. I'm not surprised. How do you like, I, like I did martial arts when I was younger. I did fucking like these shit lessons in the back of a pub around ours, which I did for a little bit. I did judo where we, uh, I was given like a white belt straight away for participation. You didn't even have to earn oh. the white belt. Yeah. I don't remember any of it because I remember whenever it had come to like grading and we'd have to have fights. You'd call in sick. Yeah. <laughs> I can't make it. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. As soon as you start getting hit, how the fuck do you think? Do you know what I mean? You're just like, yeah, uh, I don't remember any of the moves oh, I've yeah. been taught. And, and, and in, I've only ever needed to use violence twice in my adult life, and each time I went for an head butt. So I don't Did know. You, yeah. yeah, last one was on the drive here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you they were are both, more than they them. They were both self defence, so so that's fine. Well, go on. What happened? What was the first? One? Um, so I was at a urinal at a gay bar. Some guy tried to touch me dick, so he had butted him. Perfect. And then there was another guy who tried it on with me in a gay bar, and I said no. And then he fucking slapped me, so I had butted him. Yeah, smashed it. I think so. Going for a there we go. Adequate. Yeah. It didn't yeah. cause it, just my beauty did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So in a weird yeah. way, it was your fault for what you were wearing. Yeah. Yeah. So are, you like, are you a weirdo magnet? Is this common? So uh, maybe <laughs> I have dated proper intense. Like yeah, I've, I've dated. I've got a weird history, but I don't know if that's what I'm attracted to. Like I've. Dated like a birthday clown and someone who was in a barbershop quartet and stuff. <laughs> I, I, went, I went on a, a date recently with a puppeteer, but that was a bit weird. But <laughs> that, I, no, that's very London, yeah, that, yeah, isn't it? You're not but, meeting um, any puppeteers in Manchester. So, yeah, maybe, probably. Yeah. My ex who I lived with, he's a nice guy, but, yeah, he's very intense and strange. Yeah. 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 Are you also, though? I wouldn't describe myself as that. You seem quite easy going. Maybe it's all yeah. facade. No, I think I'm pretty chill. Like, I think I'm probably too chill sometimes. Someone Especially for a comedian. Sometimes when I that see everyone... Said you went straight for the head butt, though. <laughs> yeah, so, there's so chill. There's something in there. I mean, yeah, you were it's being effect, assaulted. But it's effective. True. Yeah, I can't argue it, with that. I don't understand head butts, so. though. Like because a like you're hitting someone with your own head. So however hard you hit them, they hit you with the same force. Do you know what, though? Unless it's more, it's it's more an opportunity but. because both of them were in close contact. And it just felt like, like, do you know what I mean? I've got quite a... Yeah, did yeah, did your head good, There's some good... <laughs> like, listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite, like, effective. John, what was more effective was the facial expression. You were just pulling oh, really? their hands stay the fuck away from Oh, I that. don't know what it was. Joe, next time, then, if anything like <laughs> that happens again, <laughs> <laughs> don't, you don't have to head people. You just have to start slapping your yeah, own head just... and that'll warm people. <laughs> that would scare people, yeah. actually. <laughs> <laughs> warm and a yeah. No, I am. I know I'm that quite is, an man. intimidating figure, really, when I try to be. I saw yeah, a I guy imagine. once. I, imagine. Um, I was in a nightclub as well, and the guy came into the uh, just into the bar. I was in the toilet, uh, and he came in into the toilet and was just like clearly enraged. Like he was having the biggest argument with himself. Like his mate was trying to calm him down. He's like, oh, he's just sort of making noises, but there's no syllables coming out. And his mate's just sort of going, chill, chill, chill. Long story short, he headbutted the mirror and it just shattered in front of him. Oh. He just, I can't imagine, like, as if as he got closer to himself, as he headbutted the mirror, what must have gone through his Shit, he said, button me back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, to headbutt the fucking mirror, it just shattered everywhere. The fucking, the toilet attendant, um, the guy that, like, sells all the aftershaves and stuff, he fucking, like, was just, like, panicking loads oh, and, like, went no. to go and get a staff. Everyone started taking his, like, little drumstick lollies and that, bless him. Oh, like, he got robbed, <laughs> yeah. imagine that. So who, who sees a fella headbutt a mirror, the toilet attendant doing a runner and sees opportunity? People and in Manchester, what do you mean? Doesn't steal the aftershave either. Yeah, I would go for, for the, yeah. 
I'd go. Oh, well, they were having spritzes and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I'd steal a bottle, me. Yeah, full bottle. Yeah. yeah. But I, 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 well, I wouldn't actually. I, I would never steal from a tile attendant. That's just really. I, I mean, I took me, a juicy fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? Yeah, I had a little juicy fruit in that. Oh. When, <laughs> You're scum. So is that, is, it like is that the last right. time you stole? Uh, no, actually, uh, we were talking on a couple of episodes ago. Uh, the lady in Asda made me pay for my bags. Um, mm. So I went back a couple of days later and I stole the cake. What? I stole the cheesecake. What? She was on the tail and you yeah, had to pay well, for I, I pressed no bags and then she was like, uh, excuse me, you've got bags there, come with me and like made me go and pay for them. So See, I stole the cheesecake. I would love for <laughs> Uh, what, name the Asda because I want to go to it because I would love her to do that to me because I scan my bags first. <laughs> so you scan the bag. Oh, that's an item. In, in, yeah, I scan it as an item. <laughs> so if she just sees, if I get a load of stuff, she'll just be like, oh, excuse me. And then I can be like, oh, well, excuse me. If you look at everything I've scanned, <laughs> if you go from the beginning, you'll find your wrong dickhead. But then what if she does that and you, you are robbing the bags? I'd rid you no, I wouldn't them. rob the bags. <laughs> London's changed you. Well, I've never. Have, have oh, you I, I, I've never been put it. I wasn't a thief before. <laughs> <I went. laughs> yeah. Have you ever robbed anything? What's the last thing you robbed? You asked them. Oh, people's hearts. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> the, yeah, the nation's hearts. No. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what I ever robbed. I um. God, I don't think I ever really did rob anything i remember when i tried to rob something at school i went um to the shop and i tried to rob a chocolate bar but i was laughing <laughs> so i just had to leave it because but i was like i'm gonna do it and then i just started laughing do you I have a couple of like sneaky yourself. like fucking oh, self-checkout i'll scan the tomatoes and put down the hammer out you know i mean like just so because whatever's like I, I i judge things on weight <sighs> so i'll scan the cheaper item and put the more expensive one on the scale i, I, sw- I, s- I swear down mm. the last food shop i did after we had that conversation about you getting caught i get, I get like fucking ginger i was making a curry i was getting root ginger and it, you've got to like weigh it and put a sticker on it and i was just, just like i can't be asked it's only small and i lashed it in the bag and my missus was like liam so like she looked at me as if she was telling me off and i thought about him getting caught and i was like oh just fucking do it so i weighed it scanned it it was 20p put a sticker on it the size of the piece of root ginger put it in the bag I like it, i was doing that scan as you go along swear down it's the first time it's ever happened i get to the till and we're, we're flagged for like a scan check joe where they pick five items but something was like there was an issue with the scanner so it said that it didn't match up it said that we hadn't scanned one of the items she picked up when we had and they had to like empty everything and scan everything so that's that's just taught me the lesson not to do it i almost robbed that day and i didn't Ah. And then, I, and then when she scanned everything, it did all match up, and I got to be like, "Fucking sort your scanning out, lad." I mean, you weren't, were you? You went, I, "No I worries." Was like it's all right, love. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you acting big guns now? You got to the end of your story and was like, "No, actually, I fucking." Because Josh headbutts people <laughs> yeah, in yeah, spas, and I just want to act hard. I don't. I've I've headbutted in self defence. Yeah, to be and fair. I've not done boxing since I was a teenager. And, and also, I we... am scared that because I've spoke about it on um, TV. What? And I, uh, <laughs> and I, um, I, um, I know I I did joke about it on eight out of ten cats and the clip did really well and i'm like oh fuck i'm scared that people are gonna think i can actually still like fight because i i'm i can't it's been a long time you're gonna start getting invited to do like celebrity boxing matches and stuff because you i would never do, i would never i would do anything for money but i wouldn't do like a celebrity I meant for charity bo- oh right <laughs> yeah um yeah i would do anything for charity <laughs> No, I, w- I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that because I, I would never have. A f- I don't want to get punched. Yeah, I'd be exactly the same. Yeah, one of my biggest fears is breaking bones. You never broke anything. No, broke too many. That's why I'm scared of it. Because <laughs> you know what it's yeah. like, and you don't want yeah, to do it again. I've got a metal screw in this arm. I broke my arms. I got my finger chopped off and sewn back on. What? what the fuck? Yeah, I was trying to escape from primary school, and do you know the. <laughs> you gonna say Primark? <laughs> do you know the fences with the free sharp thing? Yeah, and we I got it stuck, and I fell off, and it stayed on. Oh my god! So yeah, that was quite. Like a... how much of it, Josh? How much? Look, you can. Well, that's where. The... Oh fuck! It went back on. You can kind of see it's a bit thicker. Yeah, it's handy. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you heard that, boys. It's pretty thick. Um, So, but yeah, the full thing came off. 
seven hour operation it took to put it back on because you have to sew all the nerve endings back together. So can you feel in it? Yeah, high, I can yeah. feel stuff. Yeah. How did how how did you preserve it then? Obviously, did you well. That's actually a very good question. Well <laughs> done, uh, <laughs> fucking Jonathan this, Ross this over here. Good in every technique. I um <laughs> because Graham Norton. L- luckily, luckily the the uh, the uh, school nurse knew to put it on top of a bag of peas and not in the bag of peas, like not like on loads of ice. Like oh, it, I'd have done that. Yeah. I'd have wrapped be, it up in the ice. But you could have frozen it. Like fro- you have to keep it fresh, but not like... Can't defrost the fingertip. Yeah, they can't defrost my finger. So then, do you know what I was thinking the other day though? There was like, we got to the hospital, like we went to Bouval. Do you remember Bouval? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, how old are you? 25. Hold on. Is is it Bouval as in like a posh place or Booth Hall? Bouval Hospital. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it was a children's <laughs> hospital, but it's closed down now. Okay. But um, but then, so I went there and then they moved me all the way to Wivenshaw. So, old way, yeah. So nine and ten. And I was being very dramatic. I remember my mum was like, <laughs> it like said it were dead funny because I was like, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not being funny. Yeah. You are a child yeah, with a limb missing. Yeah, I was I'm like, like, going to die. <laughs> but, um, but it took like, they took me finger and then, um, and then like two, three hours later, that's when they did surgery. So I don't know what they were doing with it. <laughs> till then. <laughs> like. Sometimes I get worried it's not mine. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I wondered why it was black. Yeah, I, did, I didn't keep I didn't keep tabs on it, so I don't know like what what were they, they do doing. They all switch a room. But like they could have. My friend said one of them could have stuck like the willy. In it. <laughs> they could, they could have that. done. I don't know. They could be like some secretly <laughs> hidden in it. They could be like like a message or something, <laughs> a like a little a bit of paper that. It's like, like it a didn't, fortune cookie. yeah, like do you know cookie. what I mean? Like <laughs> they could be like the codes to like a safe or something could be in the finger, and I don't know. It's funny as well because um, I, I, if you go past me primary school now, <laughs> this massive sign say "Do not climb," <laughs> and, I, and I love that I did that. Yeah, yeah. what were you climbing it for? To escape, he said. So oh, to escape, yeah, he just, say, I was yeah, adding sorry. off that day. <laughs> <laughs> so I was Double got, maths for yeah, that. I'm I, was <laughs> I was circumcised. As, as like a, a lot of times it happens when people are like babies and that. I got circumcised when I was probably about the same, t- same age you lost your tip. I lost mine. I was fucking circumcised. <laughs> I wonder if that's where your skin went. <laughs> yeah, the old switcher. <laughs> yeah. Same hospital. Pull your pants down. Let's do a colour match. <laughs> Just, just smell but, your finger and you smell your dick. And we'll, uh, <laughs> but, uh, it'd be like, it'd be like uh, your dick and my finger could be like, do you like when they're like these twins who got separated at birth <laughs> and like Arnie. you had that locket and then I had that locket. That's you my, put them together my, and it makes a hole. My dick and your finger. <laughs> yeah, do that. Makes one balance. Yeah. See if it makes that. <laughs> yeah. No, your dick and my finger. <laughs> I just said my dick and your finger. I'm getting lost in the yeah. dick finger, but I um I I went. <laughs> I, I remember after this after the operation, I was I didn't really know what was going on. I remember going for my first piss, and when I went for a piss, I just remember seeing like bright red stitches on my dick, and just like screaming the place down. Like it's like a fucking traumatic thing. It was horrendous. And then my little brother, when he was around the same age, started having like the same fucking problems, like tight foreskin, whatever. I didn't check it for him, but and uh, like he was complaining about it. He went to hos- he went to doctors. By the time he fucking had the issues, they'd made a, a special cream. Amazing. No, it's really common now have... though. People still get circumcised because of that. Really? But also you should use that as a badge of honor. Like, <laughs> Because you're like, my dick is too big for the skin. That's what. I, that's exactly how I try and turn it round. Yeah, rather than my foreskin was too small, my yeah. dick was too big for the yeah. foreskin. Yeah, that, that, yeah. On the same way. Uh, it's like like the old when it rips his shirt off and stuff. Like that's that's your like when you get a little chubby, like a little chub on. You 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 <laughs> your skin's like, ah! just a fucking tiny Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck me, brother, and his magic cream. Though that pissed me off. That 
fucking advances in modern medicine. I don't think it is still a thing, you know. I don't. Not that I. No, speak I, to someone, kids someone was telling me they had they they got circumcised uh, literally like within the during COVID. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's so a family thing. I knew it happened to me dad when he was like the age I was when I had it done, and then it happened. To, what a fucking thing to pass on to your kids, by the way. I know. I know. Tight foreskin. It's the family case. Does he have an house? What? Does he have a house? A mortgage? He's dad? dead. He's dead. No. Oh. <laughs> did he? Did he? Did he have an house? He did have a house. Yeah. <laughs> did, and a you, mortgage. did you get any of that? No. 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 My mum's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Anyway. I don't um... want to speak ill of the dead, but he gave you a bit of a shit situation there. A fucked up dick and no money. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. yeah to be yeah. fair. It's all good now, though. <laughs> now we fucks dick for money. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, should we you do some questions? You don't fuck dick, the dick fucks you. I wouldn't know. That's the rule. No, I wouldn't not know. always. You never well, heard the wolf docking. What's wolf docking? Isn't wolf docking where there's a dick with dick? A dick goes into another dick's foreskin. It's a thing. Ah. Yeah. Educating. I think it that's what, like, my granddad thinks I do with my boyfriend. <laughs> 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 I'm pretty sure he thinks that's what's going on in my house. How big has someone's foreskin got to be in order to be able to put another dick in it? Like, yours was too tight. That's a big foreskin yeah. if you can put I, another I, dick in. I um, know, a, I had an acquaintance. Of course who, you did. Uh, Why wouldn't I, you? I had the longest <laughs> foreskin I've ever I seen. Think all Honestly, no, this was insane. He was like... <laughs> he bungee jumped he's with like, it. Yeah, you could, like, <laughs> skip with it. Like a fruit winder. Even, even, if it, it, even if it was, like, fully erect, if you pulled it back, it still looked like Kenny out of South Park. <laughs> it, like, it was insane. And you'd look like Timothy when he was done with you. Yeah, so it was... Um, but I actually kind of enjoyed it, though. It was, you know, a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. I, are you a fan of foreskin? I, I mean, as someone without it, and obviously most porn does no foreskin. Foreskins freak me out. Yeah, you saying fruit wine though? How mint would it be if you pulled back your foreskin? Though, it's just a little comic. That'd be like, yeah, <laughs> like a it's every day it changes and that. That'd be sick, would it? <laughs> the fruit wine does come with comics. Yeah, yeah. You pull all the stuff on. It's got like little pictures and that. That just shows how fucking oh. you just fucking smashed it in whole. You don't even open it. It's like a cheese string. Who's Which one's a cheese fruit string? winder? Never had a fruit winder. It's just like literally processed shite wrapped up like. The more rattles than they was were, it if the, they get wet, you can't get Was it the on. big chewing gums that came in those plastic things? No, but they were sick, I know. What, what were they about. called? Um, Bubblicious. Hubba, Bubba, no, no. Hubba, Bubba was the other Bubbaloo was the little ones that were filled with liquid. Yeah, yeah. The, Bubba, yeah. they were good. I there'll be, there's there's someone sh- listening in the, in the car shouting about <laughs> shouting at the fucking radio now. What was it? It was, because you were, came in like a red thing, didn't you? And you pull them off. Blue as well, yeah. Yeah, I can picture it, and I just don't know what they're called. Yeah, because it would close, so it'd like snap yes. yeah. off. You yeah. ever bold enough to go balls deep on a whole one of them? Yeah, yeah I think yeah, I did fucking do that. fucking chew your jaw off. What's up, guys? The podcast is growing, and we're dead happy, but we need your help. What we need is for you to start sending us in your most embarrassing moments, the worst things that you've ever done to yourself or someone else, and most importantly, what you want to get off your chest so email us in at spread negativity pod at gmail.com and if it's not shit we'll read it out in a future episode but i've got faith in you it'll be fine pause it here go and send us something in and then we'll read it out do it and as always if you could like comment and subscribe give us five star ratings on all the platforms that'll let you do it it just means that more people will find us and it's a big big help like we said, the podcast is growing quicker than we expected and we're buzzing with the support. We really are, but we want to grow bigger. If you can, please keep telling your friends about us. Drop the link to the episode into your group chats and help us spread more negativity. You're the greatest. We love you. Let's get back to the episode. Yeah, so we've got a few features. We've got some questions for you. Um, <laughs> you've already sort of answered some of them inadvertently. <laughs> Have I? <laughs> what are the questions? Well, I don't know what the questions That's like the worst thing you've ever done. You headbutted someone. <laughs> No, that was, oh, no, that was self-defense. <laughs> well, yeah. So I'd you're get dying that, on that hill, yeah, aren't you? <laughs> um, the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah, what's the what's the worst thing you've ever done to I, someone? Like you've you've upset them in a way, you've done something dead horrible or something dead I tonight. um sold my brother's GameCube and do you know, remember all the little Look at his <laughs> look at the mem- nerd in him. Do you fuming? remember all the little football like back in the day there was the f- footballers the oh, little pods. tiny ones and they had like numbers on the bottom they had big heads and they had big heads power pods yeah and i sold all them at 
uh, oh, in the playground. <laughs> I accidentally and gave a girl the nickname Power Pod in school. I'm guilty about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that's what we are. We're a Power Pod. Yeah. Are we? That's what we should have called this. <laughs> the Power, power pod. pod. The Power yeah, Pod. Big the Power Pod girls, that's what we are. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> big heads, no substance for the Power Pod. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That's literally <laughs> us all over. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, so that, I felt... I uh, felt quite bad about. He's still very angry about that. But f- um, at what point did you feel bad though? Because obviously, oh, like as an adult, I didn't give a <laughs> shit at the time. I didn't. How give much a- money did you make? But me, I can't remember. But me and my brother are both. We have a very competitive. We have a like. He's personal. One of the people I love the most in the world, but also one of the people who like. You hate the most in the world. Yeah, I love him so much. But when like small inconveniences happen to him, I'm just like, oh. I love it. He, <laughs> we talked about this before. He's, There's he's, nothing better than the misery of the people you oh, love. I, I love think. it. Yeah. He's got this dog, right? Um, that he, a Romanian street dog that he rescued because he's just so fucking perfect. And, <laughs> and he's, um, anyway, the, and it's not a dog. It's definitely a fox. And he's, but he, the dog goes. We'll go for a walk, and then we'll just lie down. And he'd be like, I'm not having this anymore. Yeah. And my brother, what he like tried dragging it, won't drag it. So he has to pick it up and like carry it about. But now he's uh, someone, uh, oh God, I love this. Someone <laughs> put uh, like a photo of him in his local Facebook group. Be like, has anyone seen that weirdo carrying his dog? <laughs> Like in fucking yeah. try and watch Whittle. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. So, um, so stuff like that. But yeah, we used to we used to wind <laughs> each other a lot. He's the reason I got a metal screw in my arm because oh, he what? threw me over his head and my bone popped out. <laughs> and then oh, so last time you'll take my game yeah, cube. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, what he did for revenge for that is actually quite sick and twisted. I had a fur. Is he older brother, younger brother. Sorry. Older by okay. five years. I had a furber. Do you remember the I little remember Furby, Furby's, yeah. right? And he buried it, in, and buried it alive. <laughs> Did you just hear it one well, night? Yeah, no, he buried it alive and didn't tell me until about two years ago. You should do... <laughs> I would ten. You should do Is that, that to his dog. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's... Um, yeah, he, he held on to that secret... And he still to this day won't tell me where it is. Fucking <laughs> remorse, man. I know. <laughs> but how? I know. He's like Ian Brainer. <laughs> it's, Ian Furby. Yeah, it's just it's fucking sick and twisted. That's dark. Yeah, and he he, he he buried it alive with the batteries in and everything. <laughs> So it out, was just, be alive. Fresh well, your like, <laughs> still going love yeah. me. <laughs> just bet and I'm I, your friend from like the fucking grass on the snakes yeah. past. What the <laughs> fuck is that skipping scaring dog walkers for the past fifteen years? Well that's what he did for revenge and he still not he still won't tell me where it is. Um so yeah, but I did yeah, I did sell his GameCube. Um so that's quite bad. When, we, when but we've done loads them? of stuff to each other. We've done loads of terrible stuff. I keep I, I've us. got like, so he's my full brother, and then I've got two other ones on my dad's side. And I'm pretty sure we've all hospitalised each other. I, <laughs> my, I remember the elder brother had a big um, baseball bat, and I cracked him around the head with that, and it was like metal. And you went, but full on. Yeah. <laughs> he, he sounded so bad yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. Josh, you're well, fucking solid. <laughs> but I, mean, always, I don't want people to think I'm just like dead, like angry and stuff and dead hard. But yeah, headboy's yeah. the one. And it, I killed him it, with the bat. We're like, are you intense in relationships? No, no, I'm dead chilled. Me, a twat me brother with a metal bat. He's dead funny. Tom Larinson was telling me how he was speaking to another comic and they were saying how like, Josh is really nice. He's got this reputation of being like such a nice, sweet boy. But when you get to know him, he's quite fucking rough. <laughs> and like, he's like, he'll drink all of you under the table. And I'm like, fucking will, son. <laughs> but I am, um, no, but me siblings and that, we used to all fucking, yeah, wind each other up loads. My dad used to give me 50p for grassing on him for smoking and stuff. <laughs> and I would try and get, catch him twice in a day because a nicker block of glory was one pound. <laughs> so, say that again. A nicker block of glory. <laughs> nicker block of glory. Yeah, I've never had one. No, a nicker block of glory is. A, ni- a nicker block of glory. <laughs> it's a nicker block of glory, isn't it? No, it's block. It's nicker block. It's nicker block of glory. <laughs> We're talking about the big ice cream thing. Or? Yeah. <laughs> 
from the ice cream van. I want I want to keep arguing the point, but I've, I know that you hit people. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just leave it. Bow out, bow yeah. out. Block, definitely block. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, Nickelbacker. Oh. Nickelbacker. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's hard to say. I'm going to keep doing it the way I'm yeah. doing it. Yeah. Um, so I had Nickelbacker. You try to stop him. <laughs> I'm not going to. But I remember, I remember once. Who's Capoeira? One, well, that's not me. That's oh, my yeah. house, mate. But I remember once um, where they... Um, you know, got fed up with me shit, grassing on him. So pinned me down and whipped me with a wet kitchen towel. I deserved it. Like a kitchen? Like a bounty? Like, like, no, do you like when you get um, a dishcloth? Oh, okay. Wet the end yeah. of it. <laughs> Did you never used to do that? I used no, to the light off one. with it. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Hit the light switch so it goes off. Dangerous. Um, what right, was it? One? Get your eye out. Oh, right. I thought you meant like the electricity in the oh, wet. But... Oh, oh, that don't. No, I mean, nah. that probably is, but it's the fine. The switch isn't got electric in it. <laughs> Has it? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Has it? Yeah. It I powers to the light. <laughs> I don't know. They I'm... actually say, fun fact, I found this out the other day. If you go home and you smell, and you smell, and you smell gas, you shouldn't put a light on. Because just the tiniest little electric, electromagnetic spark within the switch will just blow your fucking house up. Ah. That's interesting, isn't it? So, yeah, you're supposed to see where the gas is coming from. Huh? Are you supposed to see where the gas leak's coming from? Because you can see gas, can you? Touche. <laughs> Put it proven. <laughs> oh yeah, it's there. Grab it. Yeah. Put it back in. Grab it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That, I don't know. Is that how? I think you two won't know the answer. <laughs> it's I'm so insulted. No, it, and, on, excuse you. you I was going to say, me. is that how the house catches fire in Little Vice? <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. We have it have a clue. <laughs> I know Jane Horrocks is in that film. Oh yeah, she's yes. a singer. Yes, yeah, she's amazing. I, um, I think she went to my college. Saran Jones went to my college. Saran Jones, is she the one from Coronation Street? Yes, one of the best actors in the world. Is she? Yeah, yeah okay. in the world. She's not won any Oscars, but <laughs> well, she doesn't need to. She, she's no, she's amazing. She's, she's I, won the Soap Awards. I'm, I'm <laughs> honestly, um, she, I think she's one of the best. Like. Actors in well, she's ever. done loads of drama since. Yeah, actually. well, my favorite TV show is Scott and Baylor. It's um, two female detectives um, in Manchester solving crime and balancing family life. <laughs> was A sold. TV show has never <laughs> been more made for me. I love it. I love it so much. So she, she's in Vigil. <laughs> Gentleman Jack. Joe was a new one. Though. She's an absolute fucking top draw. Powerhouse. Yeah, powerhouse. Who did she play she was power? it. I watched the Adele live concert when Adele's new album came out and it was a celebrity audience. Saram was there. I, <laughs> I, I, was, Joe. I was more <laughs> buzzing. When I saw Saram was there, I was like, fucking God, one, Saran. Well done. Do it for Greater Manchester. Well done, you're watching a show. No, but <laughs> she was she was there, you know. She we, hated it, but she acted like she enjoyed it, to be fair. So yeah, she, she did was, a great performance. She's a fucking amazing. Is she from Manchester, Sir and Jones? Well, yeah, she's from Chadderton in Greater Manchester in Oldham. But yeah. I went to Oldham College. You were saying this because I yeah. met you in Oldham. And uh, but because there was me and another girl in my class who had more Manchester accents because we're like closer to Manchester and all the Oldham people used to take the piss out of us. I'm like, have you heard you fucking really, speak? Yeah. Have you heard an Oldhamer? Uh, it all Horrible. sounds the same to me. I'm Does far it? enough away from it, yeah. Oh, really? What, do you think people won't know the difference if you're not from Manchester? I don't then? know. I don't know. I don't really... I, I've, we've only lived there for like six months-ish, eight months now, something like that, and we don't know anyone in Oldham. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like, to me, you sound more man than him. Themselves. Yeah, but, but I live closer than... And I've moved around a lot as yeah. well. I've lived in Bolton. Yeah. Where are you then, from so. in Manchester? Well, I'm f a very loaded question. I'm <laughs> from two different parts because my mum and dad were never together. So okay. I, And I spent like equal time in both, both places. Yeah, so my mum's is fails with... But that's like... It's a weird place because it's like Manchester postcode, but with Oldham Council. <laughs> yeah, that's that is crazy. Weird, yeah. And um, But my mum lives closer to Newton Heath, like on the edge... And then my yeah. dad lives in Dralston. <laughs> okay. Are they both like rough That used to make sense while he, while he hits people with bats now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and he fails with and Dralston. <laughs> <laughs> the trifecta of scum to break to Manchester. <laughs> yeah. No, but you know, sometimes, you know, the best roses 
throw in the shit. shit I don't know the. I don't know all the sayings, but I'm pretty sure that might be one of them. Yeah, no, mate, you're on the uh, you're on the right pod for that. We're we're just as scummy, don't worry. Yeah, uh, like you you said before about you, like we had uh, the last guest we had on was Alison June Smith. I who's know, very, so lovely, very positive and lovely, and we were like, oh, Josh Jones is coming on next. He's very positive, but you've definitely got more scum underneath than Alison. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, that's yeah. just clear though. Yeah. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> She's never hit anyone with a fucking with her head or a bat. No. <laughs> we asked what her most uh, what the worst thing she ever did to someone was. What was it? Can you remember? Um, she was uh, she threatened the girl in school. Didn't oh yeah, she? yeah. She was threatening oh, someone. Alison she, she did. Didn't hit anyone. She oh, just yeah. threatened to do so. Oh. You're there, like, yeah. I hit him with a bat. I felt guilty. <laughs> well, that would be brother. Later. I don't feel. It doesn't, no it doesn't count when it's siblings. siblings do, yeah, no, sure. I um, uh, me and Alison went Prague. T- um, together for shows, right? This was weird, and um, it were also English language shows. In English oh, language. I feel like in- I saw something. Like yeah, this. yeah, English Matt language show. Oh yeah, I love yeah. Matt. It was yeah, me, great. Matt, and Alison. I was like, what a what a great weekend. Trifecta of scum again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then so we was in Copenhagen on Saturday, Prague on Friday. Copenhagen was great. Prague was a little bit weird because um, it they had local MCs. But they, right. had, they had two of them, right? And they were saying to us how these it's comedy's so new there that they've only got like ten pro comics and really? they were two of them yeah. and they were shout awful. Really? God yeah. off I've never seen yeah, one of them were doing like lightsaber sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they were like, on my alley, that. And they were like beatbox like beatboxing. <laughs> and then what what I thought was so <laughs> weird. But don't get this. So me, Alison, and Matt are all sat there, right? One, of, so the, they're them seen together, and one of them goes, "Do you want me to tell the audience your faggy?" <laughs> to me, <laughs> to Matt, <laughs> and then me, we, me, Alison, and Matt are all sat there like, "Oh," and then the other one goes, "No, no, no," and we're, and then he goes, "No, no, no," he'll tell them, but I was like. <laughs> We was expecting him to go, no, no, can't say you it. But he was like, no, no, he'll tell them. Don't yeah. ruin the surprise. <laughs> the surprise, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, they wouldn't, for, like, because, you know, even if it is not an English language show, that's the one thing I don't need to, like, express through language. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, um, the, the gayness reads wherever you are. That's yeah, why I can't the, go everywhere. Imagine the other um, guy stopped the, stopped the other MC and was like, no, no, they can already tell by the way he walks. Don't worry. Yeah, like, you don't need to. It was, <laughs> but yeah, and me, Alison, and we, we were just like, because Matt and Alison and myself are all actually, for comedians, we're probably three of the most polite ones. Yeah. So we all just went, uh. <laughs> <laughs> none of us. Didn't know how to react at the moment. And then we, yeah. like, we, and we like whispered to each other, like, what do we do? And Alison was like, just move, on. let's just move on. And yeah. yeah, it was so weird. That is mental, that isn't it? it? You crazy. just forget. And oh, that's like, my only experience places, with Prague. And we had to we had to get up the next morning to go to Copenhagen. In and out then. So it was like in and out. So now I'm just like, they're my only reputation of people from the Czech Republic. Yeah. And I'm like, can they say faggy I there? think there's weird sensibilities there. Like I know obviously, um, I, well, I, I've, I've heard recently in Budapest, like that's Hungary, isn't it? Budapest. There was like issues with like a a like a same sex kiss on a diet coke advert, or something yeah. so like mon- like just normal like that, and th- they were like petitioning to get it removed and stuff. I think it is still in the government and shit that it's yeah. a bit weird there. <laughs> Crazy. I'm just a straight white guy who doesn't actually know anything. <laughs> yeah. at all. I, I'm, I'm saying it as if I fucking know. Yeah. I don't have a fucking clue. Well, actually, but I, Josh, but if, I, if you read it. <laughs> If you're I, the news. Do, I just assume when it's in Europe, I just be like, ah, I'll be fine. That's the best attitude to have. Yeah, I'll be it? fine. And then it's like, surprise. Very naive. It's, yeah. <laughs> and it is like, it's like another comic messaged me the other day. I'll oh, put you forward for these gigs in Dubai because um, I saw that there was some <laughs> gay people there and you can be openly gay now. And I'm like, oh, I'm all right. No, yeah. no. <laughs> it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> and even if he can, he's still actually illegal. So I don't want to go give him me money. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, it's it's uh, uh, Dubai scares me. I like the look. It, obviously, it looks dead nice, and everyone posts about going there, but it's just so unclear what the rules are. I think it looks a bit shit. Do you think? Yeah, it looks a bit like too swanky. It's Instagramming. Yeah, in, in reality, I like like old stuff. 
So yeah. I'm like, oh, that building's out. That's why down. them fucking blokes message you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you say this on your pod, don't you? They're like, oh, yeah, look at me. I don't know if I have mentioned the Bill Nye thing, and I think I might yeah, have done. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean on other stuff. Oh. I don't know if I have, and I'm, I'm guessing... You're putting those uh, vibes out there. I maybe have, yeah. <laughs> you made a rod well, for that, your own But it's not Bill Nye because of his age. You know, he's ageless to it's me. the attitude. It's, it's the attitude. You know, it's... It's it's a whatever you do. Swag. Don't go on your pod and start staying the opposite now. About how you love all the younger ones. Don't be doing that. No. <laughs> no. Like don't no. try and do damage control. I, I could <laughs> I couldn't even shag anyone under twenty eight. Yeah. <laughs> couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> that's that's so the fucking the like disgusting. disgusting. Yeah. 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 Do you know what? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. That's not even that fucking. No, bad. but maturity wise, I think I'm pretty up there actually. Yeah. And but yesterday, so me, me and me and Anna Platt went out after me. Oh, she's great. After me show last night because we hadn't seen each other ages, so we went out and then we sat on this table outside. And there was a couple there. The guy was 21 and she was 18. And do you know what this little bitch said to us? She to said you. to both of us, she was like, what's it like being in your late 20s? And I nearly fucking kicked <laughs> the shit out of this bitch. I was like, I'm going to fucking like put an head on the curb. I was fuming. Because I spent so much money on skincare. <laughs> and I don't need this little fetus giving me <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I was fuming. Are you and, in denial of the big free i I'm actually quite excited for me for is I think um yeah, I think men um are at the best when they get into the thirties, forties. You reckon? Yeah, um yeah, um I don't I'm done with my twenty. You know, and I, I think it's like I, modern modern fucking grooming. I think you're right, because Beck's dad, I look at pic like I look at pictures of him when she like graduated. He looks old as fuck, like yeah. baby faced and shit. Like sorry, I mean like clean shaven, he looks old as fuck. Now he's got like a grey beard. He looks younger. fucking younger. Yeah. It's weird. It, yeah. And and it, like they just he's just sexy like now, cause cause like I because, like, now, genuinely, to be attracted to someone, I've got to, like, really like them as a... The personality is actually involved. Isn't that how it always should have been, Josh? You're saying this is it's like, a <laughs> recent development? But it's, no, but it's, like, that's, like... When you were early 20s, like, oh, they're fit. Like, it's just fuck, do you know what I mean? But, like, <laughs> now, now it's, like, I've got to like, like, the personality and, you know, people... Sounds, sounds like you're t it's tiring for you. Yeah. People get better with age. Yeah. And you're also, right. like, I've done my 20s well. Yeah. Like, I have done everything that even, you shouldn't do. <laughs> even professionally, though, as well. Like, you spent your 20s coming up with stand-up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, coming I, start, through the I started at 22. Your 30s are going to be fucking massive. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, you, you're at a point now at 29 where you're starting to get recognised. You were talking about touring next year and stuff. So yeah. that's going to... Your 30s are going to be fucking huge for you. Whereas when you were 23, you were fucking doing mics. You know what I mean? Yeah, open mics yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So even financially and professionally, it's going to be fucking loads better for you. Yeah, you yeah. fucking smashed it, you piece of shit. I'm angry at you now. Yeah, thanks for coming it on. Could go down. <laughs> it, it could go downhill, though. It could yeah, go every chance. Fucking, oh. Yeah. It won't, though. I'm, I'm using Morgan's good looks all the way to the bank. <laughs> But no, this has been fucking great, man. Thanks for coming on. If you're new to the podcast and you, you're you listening because Josh has brought you on, uh, well, brought you to it, I guess, not brought you on. Uh, but if, yeah, like I say, if you're new to the podcast and you're watching because of Josh, then we do a section at the end called Off Your Chest, where we just invite the guests to get something off their chest. Maybe it's something about, you know, what you've done to your brother. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> it could be with you. Uh, so do you have anything you want to get off your chest, Josh? Uh, Josh? I, I um, So I had a night off the other night and I was buzzing for it. So I bought myself a portable DVD player. <laughs> In 2022. I know. <laughs> I know. But I thought, I'm trying to get off the internet a bit more. And I thought, I'm going to buy one of them for... Did you have to go to cash converters? <laughs> no, when I got... It was 80 odd quid. And what? I... and I what? um Yeah, but like I said, I've got a shopping addiction. <laughs> <laughs> this is why that woman yeah. thought you were like 30 because you were carrying it around. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, fuck it up. Well, I, w I went in for some laptop speakers for the guy I've just started dating, but then I, um, I ended up leaving with a fan, laptop speakers, and a portable DVD player. A fan? Fucking hell, it wasn't even on telly. Yeah. <laughs> hey. But yeah, um, so then... <laughs> 
Um, so I bought this and was so excited. And then I went to CX and I yeah. went to get Shag the goff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I went and I got some stuff and I, I got myself the Broad Church box set, right? <laughs> David Turner. <laughs> and and they put obviously because it's second hand, they have to put the DVDs in it and they do that in front of you, don't you? And the stupid dickhead put season two in the season one DVD box and the season one in the season two DVD <laughs> box. So then I got home, buzzing to use my brand new portable DVD player for the first time, put the DVD in for season one, episode one. <laughs> Fucking season two, episode one starts playing and it's the trial of the guy who did the murder in the fucking first <laughs> one. <laughs> I was livid. I was full of rage. So then I was just sat in my bedroom being like, this is me night off. And I was so angry. And I just didn't know what to do with myself. And I cried. <laughs> Out of anger. And I was fuming. And I was I was imagining myself going to CX and burning it to the ground. <laughs> no one had fucking noticed. Um, <laughs> Hold on, you used a portable DVD player in your bedroom? Yeah. Did you not have like a telly in the house or? Oh, a laptop no, well, I, that you can I was gonna a buy it. I was going to buy it. No, I've got my laptop. I'm trying to stop using the internet as much. You can turn the Wi-Fi off. No, but what, how am I supposed to put my DVD, my DVD, my okay, laptop don't right. have it. Right, but if you're watching a point Jesus point Christ. If you are watching a DVD, there was less just... interrogation on Broadchurch. <laughs> 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 Fuck me. <laughs> I did so, what I did because I did it. He got so <laughs> Do you know what he was saying before about when you get to know him, he is quite rough. <laughs> no, I just Glasses. did what I did because I did, cause I did it. <laughs> That's why I did it. I don't need an explanation. I did it. <laughs> but, so sassy. But yeah, it, it, was a, it was annoying because, you know, you gig all the time and like, because <laughs> I'm like dating someone new at the moment when I've got like days off to spend it with him. This is the first day I had to myself. Jesus, and that's, yeah. that's, that's and I was, amazing. I was that. having like a day to myself and I was doing, do you know, the full, um, the, the beige, the beige meals when you get like the garlic yeah, bread, yeah, the breaded yeah, yeah, mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> a little platter, the, yeah, put it on a chopping um, board. Lash it in the oven yeah, all at once. the potato waffles. That to me, that's, that's, best meal, that's yeah, as yeah, gourmet yeah. as it gets. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gourmet as fuck. Um, so I had all that, you know, my garlic bread was there. Uh, Turkey dinosaurs? Yeah, I went to McDonald's specifically for the sour cream dip. That's uh, all I went in. Just one Just in, the dip, yeah. Got four sour get, cream on. dips and left. Did they give it you without having any food? You've got to pay for it, You've got to you? pay for it, 20p each. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh but I'm, fu- I'm, I'm on that, like, crack. <laughs> I <love laughs> sat there waiting for your order yeah. number to get I go, in, I go in all the time and just get me sour cream dip. Really, yeah? I fucking live it's like for it. like my least favourite. So good. Oh, so good. <laughs> I love sour cream dip and <laughs> McDonald's one specifically. Anyway, I can't remember what I was saying, I but I am dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's just like, he's lost on the track of the yeah. fucking chicken oh, nuggets. Well, I had me pass, I had some pasties because now I'm back. When the first thing I do when I'm back in Manchester is I go, have you had Martin's Bakery? Yes, in oh. Stock, there's one in Stockport. Oh, is it? Oh, God, I fucking live for it. Have you ever had Martin's oh, no, Bakery? I've never heard of it. It's like a Greg's, but they put more thought and like, <laughs> more passion into it. Yeah, it's, yeah, they cared. Yeah, and the um, the the factory is in Newton Heath, near my mum's house, and yeah. sometimes you go past and I'm like... <laughs> oh, I love it. At uni, we used to do pie days, so everyone would... <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Tell me when to show up. No, no, it's fine. I'm just finding it so ridiculous. You say it like so matter of fact, like it's just so normal. Pie day. day. But everyone, so we used to, I don't do. what Josh calls his birthday. (laughs) We we had different Sundays. So we had acid Sunday where people would take acid on Sundays. (laughs) And then they did. But I've not done any drug in it um, in like seven years. So I just want to clarify that actually. (laughs) But, um, and then we also did pie day. So um, they'd all smoke weed and I'd make about four or five different pies. Mm. And then all of the stoners would come and eat my pies. And I'd, that's like how I'd get my like, high. Oh, you, so you wouldn't really even eat the pie? No, I'd eat it as well. But they, they would give me like all the compliments. 
Because I, I, I thought you got your set of toes. Well, I then. used to cook for everyone. This is so true. And then I started doing stand up and stopped doing it. Yeah. And everyone's like, "What? Where's the cup?" But I, I found another, another way to get compliments. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, like, yeah. So I don't really cook anymore. Oh, I like cooking. I, the same to be yeah. fair. I used to like having friends around and cooking. Yeah, for them. I fucking love it. It's just a way to show off, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like. I'd go over the top. So I'd do like tapas and stuff. But everything like so, I'd make my own hummus, my own baba ganoush. But then I'd make my own bread. Just, just because I'm just a, to take it the yeah, next level. Like, yeah. I said I, I could never bake. I was never. I a baker. remember we was um, I did performing arts at uni, and one day we was doing like a video project, and we was filming it in different houses. And one day um, they were, we went to one house, and they made like bacon butties for everyone. And the next day they were coming to mine. I was skin. I only had about eighty quid in my bank, and I spent it all. And I did a full fucking buffet because yeah. I was Shuffle like, "I'm gonna be this." <laughs> and when 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 the girl walked in, I said, "Well, don't you look an idiot now?" <laughs> I, I made I made like I had the bacon butties and all that, but then I had like pies and um, different sandwiches. I did everything. <laughs> Loads of pop and everything, and like the little crisp in the bowl. I went fucking crazy. It was like <laughs> like a ten year old's birthday. Yeah, but you That's you said to her, crazy. "Don't you look the idiot? You're the one that spent your last eighty quid on just fucking point scoring." I know, but I won. <laughs> Fair, yeah. Yeah, 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 eighty quid well yeah. spent. So there we go. Uh, oh. This has been fucking great, man. Thanks so much for coming on. Have you got anything you want to plug? Um, oh. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, no, I have, uh, right, okay. What am I doing? I've, you know, oh, I'm doing a tour. Your social um, media, yeah. first of oh, all. Oh shit! That makes yeah, sense. yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> he said to me in the car, he goes, "I'd die without my agent now. If he dropped me tomorrow, I don't know what I'd do because I can't do fucking anything." We get into just him fucking his Instagram, and he's like, "Uh, at uh, I, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm on Instagram, and then that's it, and then um." What else have I got? Oh, I'm doing Edinburgh, if you go in there. I'm doing a, a tour. I've got a show, it's called Waste of Space, and it's nearly done. It's, it's going to be quite, fucking it's great. It's quite funny, actually. Cool. Um, and then <laughs> it's a good, that's a good yeah. advertisement. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and quite funny. Just, yeah, just, if you're interested, just Google Josh Jones Comedian, and some will be there. <laughs> but, but all your tour stuff for next year will be oh, on your social and media. And I've just started a podcast called Chatting <laughs> with Cherubs. Yeah, there so, we go. Uh, Get in his DMs. Yeah, old, get in my DMs. I'm getting Morgans and call him ugly. Don't, don't <laughs> do that, actually. Please don't do that. That's horrible. But just say you'd rather fuck me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Quick, give us three things that you hate. Oh, oh how quick? Dead quick. Like, as fast as you want it to be. <laughs> oh, who do I hate? Well, it doesn't have to be you. doesn't have to be people. No, no, not oh. people. No, no, not all people. Right, <laughs> all right, Just things, things. that you hate. <laughs> Um, what do I hate? Oh, oh, I hate Jamie Oliver. Yeah, that's there you okay. go. That's a good that's one. Yeah, fucking solid ja one. Jamie uh, Oliver, obviously because of the turkey Twizzlers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, fuck him. Yeah. Fuck and he's him. also just a fucking classy scobshire, isn't he? And if I ever get to do a telly show with him, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm interested. He's there. I would. I wouldn't. <laughs> I would. I would say I can't do it with him. Fuck <laughs> him. <laughs> I can't be in the same room as him. Really? I hate him. <laughs> I d and it is Turkey Twizzler. He's, but it's like, <laughs> it's, it's a, it, this is a 20 year beef. hatred. <laughs> this is like, I've not let it go. Um, so that, I hate it when people don't um, have respect for Bette Midler or know who she is. <laughs> Who's Bette? I'm yeah. joking. Who she is. Hocus Pocus. Not, Hocus Pocus is I've the best film it. that's ever I've been made, and it. I'll stab anyone that says it's not. It's. I've never seen it. You may be so wrong. You good. may be right. I it's don't know. It's so good. <laughs> what do I hate? Um, I don't know. If it, yeah, fuck it. I don't hate him, but I remember... I've never felt more rage than when my cousin pissed in my granddad's shed. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> and <laughs> I held on for that for years. We were only little kids, but I just thought it was the most disrespectful thing that you could ever do. 